This is the £12,000 ultralight Trekimonda SLR race bike ridden by Juan Pedro Lopez of Trek Segafredo. Lopez took the Maglia Rosa on the first mountain stage of the 2022 Giro d'Italia atop Mount Etna on stage 4, and we're going to tell you all about the bike he did that on. First, isn't this one of the best looking bikes in the peloton? We love seeing the striking red and navy blue livery of the Trek Segafredo team bike. Catch it in the right light and you can see it change from a deep blue almost to black. Underneath that paint job is Trek's newest carbon fibre layup, the OCLV 800 series, which they claim is their lightest carbon ever while also being 30% stronger than the previous carbon fibres they've used. This means they've managed to keep the frame weight to less than 700 grams in a 56 cm size, but Juan Pedro Lopez is riding a 52 cm frame, so he'll actually be on an even lighter frame, which is important because the new aero shape on the Amonda looks a lot closer to the frame of the Trek Madone, and they need to keep the weight down for those super fast climbing bikes. Paired up with the frame are the Bontrager Aeolus RSL wheels. On a flatter stage, Lopez will ride the 51mm deep tubeless wheel set featuring Kogel ceramic bearings in the hubs for increased efficiency and lower rolling resistance. However, on the more mountainous days, he'll be riding the RSL 37 tubular wheel set to help shave off a little bit more weight. Now Trek may make their own tyres, but the World Tour team has teamed up with the world famous tyre manufacturer Pirelli as a major sponsor. Here, Lopez has the Pirelli P0 Race TLR tubeless tyres, which are actually the same tyres that Lizzie Dignan rode to victory in the first ever Paris-Roubaix Femme. He has 28mm wide tyres, and he's running them at 5 to 5.2 bar, or around 70 to 75 psi. The Trek Segafredo Emonda is equipped with the SRAM Red ETAP wireless electronic drivetrain. Yes, that's right, 12 speed wireless. Now, this is their top of the range offering, but you won't find too much out of the ordinary. According to the team mechanics, Lopez is one of the easiest riders to prepare for each day. In fact, they joke that he says they can put whatever they want on his bike. In the middle of the drivetrain, we've got a SRAM Red AXS power meter fitted with 3952 chain rings, and there's this super slick SRAM Red D1 chain. Then, at the back of the bike, we've got a 10 to 33 to 12 speed cassette. That's a massive range of gears, and it means that Lopez can ride the same gearing every day. Moving on to the brakes, and they're the SRAM Red hydraulic disc brakes. Both the front and rear are 160mm rotors, which means plenty of stopping power for those fast mounted ascents. And those wheels are held in securely by some DT Swiss through axles. Up at the front end is the one-piece Bontrager Aeolus RSL handlebar, where they have integrated the bar so it's super stiff and lighter than the traditional two-piece cockpit. It's slammed all the way down to the head tube with this really clean cable routing for the hydraulic brake hoses. One of the few custom touches on Lopez's bike is this really neat pink Wahoo computer with an integrated K-Edge mount. And you can see that at the start of each stage, the mechanics will stick a small piece of paper on Lopez's handlebars with the race profile and key moments on it. That helps the riders to know exactly what to look out for and what's coming up. Maybe where he'll find the feed zones, climbs, or even a good place to make an attack for the stage win. There you have it, Juan Pedro Lopez's Trek Imonda SLR. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, let us know by hitting the thumbs up and then telling us what you think of Lopez's bike and subscribe to Velon for more behind the scenes content from the world's best cycling teams.